Hey everyone, it's Anya Khan and I'm here today to talk to you about colored pencils. And so I am very new into the world of colored pencils. I've always really loved them, but as an artist, I have not been able to use traditional media due to having severe allergic reactions. So um, over the years, the 15 plus years um, I've been doing art professionally, I have been a digital artist primarily. And in the last year or so, things have shifted and I have been able to use more traditional medium, which is super exciting. So um, I slowly kind of got into using pencils. Um, I love Prisma. They were something I used years ago and they're good pencils. They're beautiful pencils, but they're not as archival as other pencils are. So after watching reviews, like uh, the review and unboxing we're gonna do today, um, I decided to jump in and get this 20 count of uh, Karen Dash pencils. They are amazing. They blew me away when I was using them. And I did a little video about this, the unboxing of them, as well as doing color swatches with them. And I'll link that below so you can go back. But after buying the 20, I decided to get froggy and go up and buy the 76. Now, these are one of the most expensive colored pencils on the market. They, they're light fast and archival. They're very important for professional people who do colored pencil. If you're just starting out doing colored pencil, unless you have a lot of money to spare, I wouldn't go and drop money on these. Um, again, things like Prismas or Faber-Castells, those are really good pencils and they can do a lot of good stuff. There's artists that even use things like Crayola, which is fine. But as you move into a more fine art aspect of it and you're selling stuff or you're doing, you know, portraits or gallery work for clients, it's important to have things that are going to last for years to come. So this video is going to be an unboxing of this. As you can see, the plastic is still on it. And I wanted to share the experience with you guys. I've had this for a few days and I just didn't have the time to do the video and I was dying just wanting to open these. Um, it's, it's really exciting. So let's go ahead and open this. We'll do an unboxing and we will also do some color swatches. Okay. So we are back and here is the fresh box of 76 Luminance colored pencils. This box is still completely sealed and it's super exciting just thinking about getting ready to open it. So let's see if I can open it with my nail a bit. Oh, there we go. All right. So taking the plastic off. When I was thinking about doing this video, I just could hear angels singing when I would open the box. So here we go. Oh. So in this box, we have a really nice foam top, which has protected these wonderful pencils, as well as each of these pencils have their own little slit to protect them. There's no other colored pencils that I'm aware of that come like this. Uh, maybe there is, but Boy, look at those colors. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I am like, without words, without words. These little tabs here on the side to help you pull them up. Looks like all these like neutral and flesh tone colors. Wow, they're just beautiful. My goodness. So there are three tiers and you can get them out very easily. There's little tabs on either side to pull them out. So while you're working, you can pull them out. The only thing that I'm a little bummed about, but I do understand for design is that you cannot take this bottom section out. It is seated in there uh, permanently. I like to see that changed to be able to uh, lay them all out, but it really, doesn't get any better than this. I mean, that's really the only, only suggestion I would have. There's nothing about these pencils or about the boxing. Oh, it's just, there's nothing that I find could be any better. I'm so excited. 
to use them, you have no idea. So let's get in and do some color swatches of every color. I think it'll be a lot of fun to test them out and see how they look. So now we're going to go through and we're going to do color swatches for all 76 of the colors of Karen Dash Luminance pencils. I went ahead and I created this myself. I was unable to find one that was downloadable. So I created this and I was able to put all 76 on basically two pages by doubling the first page and having just a few on the second page. If you um, are interested, I have this downloadable on my website so that you can print it out and you can do the same. One really interesting thing about doing color swatches for artists is when you get a new set, especially a set that has 76 colors, artists often will stick to the colors they're most comfortable with. So for example, I might have three yellows and as an artist, I might be more comfortable with this specific yellow and it's the yellow that I use the most. So I will continue to go there rather than exploring the other yellows. And by doing the color swatches, you have the ability to see how the pencils look on paper. The way that they look in the pencil themselves isn't always how they come out on paper. And sometimes we judge a color by looking at the lead and actually overlook a really beautiful color. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course on white paper, we're not really gonna see the white. In an upcoming video, I'm actually going to explore various types of white. But now you can see some color coming in, making the paper more cream. And with these, I'm gonna generally just push down hard. On the other colors, I'll do a bit of a gradation. And I don't have to push very hard. As you can see, I'm barely pushing in the beginning here and it's still very dark. So I'm going to try to push a little less hard. Create a bit of more of a gradation. There we go. That's a little better. That one was just barely touched the paper. I just love how these pigments lay on the paper so easily without a lot of pressure. Again, I'm barely touching the paper. And these are right out of the box, so I haven't sharpened them. They are, uh, they have the points the way that they were in the box. So you can get more precision with what you're doing when you sharpen your pencils to a, a better point. More precision. Now we're kind of moving into the more purple, purple reds. Crimson Aubergine, which I'm pretty sure that I just hacked the way that's pronounced, but some of these names are really interesting. So 
So it's a really rich violet. It's a crazy name. So we went through these colors. When I think of ice blue, when I think of ice blue, this is not what I would have thought. I would have thought a more light blue. getting more into the earth earth tones these ones are very close One's a little bit more green.
So as I'm doing this, I'm definitely noticing a big difference from using other colored pencils. I've always been a big fan of Prisma. I understand as a professional artist, the archival quality light fast, light fastness is an issue. If you're looking for longevity or professionalism of the product that you're using to create your colored pencil art, this is one of the reasons why I decided to move into the luminance pencils due to the light fastness. I also really love the way the pencils lay down on paper, like we were looking at in the beginning, right? When I was barely putting any pressure and it was really having no issue leaving color. And these are wax pencils. So uh, that's a different situation than somebody using pastels or oil-based pencils. Wax pencils are a whole other story. They can be a bit waxy. So we're going to move on to the last box of them here. These are the colors that we just went through. start with ultramarine pink and by the way anthroquinoid pink that is the craziest name of all the pencils and I'm probably saying that completely wrong kind of sounds like a disease or the name of a strange character anthroquinoids And the question for you that is watching this right now, is it apricot or is it apricot? I say apricot. People, other people in my life I know say apricot. And I ask them, do you say apples, apples? And they just shake their head at me. As they should, I suppose. This has been really enjoyable. One thing I can say about this though is it's definitely hurting my arm a bit. Which was completely unexpected because I draw for hours at a time. So perhaps it's the repetitive motion. Getting down to the last few. And again, this will be downloadable on my website, anyacon.com. Just a free download for you to use. It works well with any of the Karen Dash sets because this is a printout for all 76. So if you have any of the sets, that are smaller, all of your colored pencils will be on here. I also have the 20 set, so I think I might create one for that as well. But for now, this is a really good one. And this is great to hang up, hang up in a studio. It also helps you get really familiar with your pencils. I know I mentioned that in the beginning, but I'd like to 
encourage you again to get familiar with your pencils. Don't be, don't be limited in any supply. Don't be limited in any supply that you have. I mean, it's wonderful when artists can use very few colors and produce what they want to produce. That is uh, a mark of a great artist to be able to produce what they want to produce using very little colors and mix them to create a lot more colors. But it's also really nice to have a bunch of different colors to choose from. So, all right. So this was the last set. These were the colors that that we explored. They're not exactly back in their place the way I'd like them to be. But those are the colors on the final sheet. And so that's it. That's your 76 pencils. And here they are. I hope that you enjoyed going through the color swatches with me. It was a lot of fun to explore these colors. If you want to find me on the web, you can visit me at anyacon.com. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, wherever it is, over there, I think, or down there, as well as on Facebook and Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Until next time.